guys. Give my hand. Yeah. Is this on? They're rushing the stage. <laughs> So as they're, as they're coming up, I, I think it's, first of all, over the last two nights, you, you got to admit, you've seen some amazing talent, yeah? Okay. Huge hands. I mean, just amazing players, incredible musicians. Um, and the campers, you folks, um, I think it's really special, and I, I am so appreciative that Ben has allowed this to happen, giving the campers a chance, those who want to, to get up and actually show what can happen if they put a concerted effort into their three hours, 45 minutes worth of time. Now, in fairness, I know some of these folks worked out in the lobby practicing, and a couple of times I was on my way out for dinner, and they said, we could, could, what do you think, could you come over here? But it, it does go to show that they're taking a huge risk. They're taking a huge risk because they've been asked to stand in front of their peers, sit in front of their peers, and play the result of what they've done. And to be clear, I didn't teach them three songs this weekend. I taught them music concepts, and then applied them to three songs. So what they're really doing is taking a whole bunch of skills that they've developed. Everything from picking notes, to understanding why the notes are played where they are, to their, uh, their relationship to chords, etc. So I think they're ready. We're gonna, we're gonna perform three pieces, as I've said. The first one is an old jazz standard entitled Tin Roof Blues. And what you're gonna hear is you're gonna hear the ensemble pick out the notes, and then you're gonna hear harmony to it. And you're gonna hear them start together and end together. Okay? And here's the neat part. They couldn't do this before they got here. So what you're hearing is a premiere performance by the Midwest U Camp Ensemble under the direction of Peter Luongo. Yes.
Ready? 